on charging the electric vehicle we charge the battery which power the electric vehicles control system technologies that enhance battery performance are of extreme interest in particular electrochemical model that provide visibility on discharge voltage here we will see how to simulate two models single particle model and single particle model with electrolyte in pipe using open source package and also we will compare the results between these two models as mentioned i am going to impo import open source package pipebank stands for python battery mathematical model using pip i have installed this one the three steps that we have to follow in battery model is choose the model simulate with parameters and call the solvers this is very simple step that we can follow with this open source package pipebank first i am going to choose the model uh, throughout our coding let us consider lithium ion battery so pipebank for lithium ion battery uh, first model is single particle model uh the next step is to simulate with parameters uh, this pipebank package itself has default parameters so i am going to use them as such without modifying i will make next video to show how to change the default parameters of this pipebank model now with default parameters let us simulate for spm single particle model with the default parameter values provided by pipebank the third step is to solve it for a duration here i am going to solve it for uh, uh, 1 hour so let us uh, from 1 to 3600 because they are in the milliseconds for 1 hour let us solve this model spm and observe the characteristics of our battery cell the default parameter is a single battery uh, in a series and single battery in the parallel so we can see uh, the battery cell primary parameters basically negative particle surface concentration is fixed at 20000 molecules per meter cube and electrolyte concentration is also fixed at 1000 molecules per meter cube positive particle surface concentration is close to 31000 molecules per meter cube and the current is fixed close to 0.7 amps because the battery cell is currently in the constant current mode the ne negative electrolyte is zero volt Uh, electrolyte potential is negative value positive electrolyte potential is close to 3.8 volts the interesting one is the terminal voltage which starts close to 3.8 volts drops quickly to 3.7 and then it drops slowly until 3.6 volts so the working range of the battery is between 3.8 to 3.6 on this is the useful range of the battery so this spm helps us to understand the characteristics of the battery cell now let us also go for our second model single particle model with electrolyte which is easily achieved by calling the built in model spme for our lithium battery all other steps remain same we will use the same default parameters and on execution we could see that the negative particle surface concentration electrolyte concentration positive particle surface concentration and current uh, constant current they are all same but the negative electrolyte potential value has dropped from 0 over a period of time to negative 2.5 volt similarly electrolyte potential there is a slight drop and the terminal voltage remains same now let us see how to compare between these two models and then plot them the models that we are considering is single particle model and single particle model with electrolytes so here we will have the list which has the both models as part of the list called models the next step is we will have an empty list for simulation sims with the empty list now with for loop let us run the uh, model for these two spm and spme with 
the default values and then solve for one hour. That is 0 to 3600 milliseconds. On each model, the result will be appended to the sims list. So now our sims list has the solved value for both the model, single particle model and single particle model with electrolyte. Now using dynamic plot provided by PyBAM, we will plot both the models in the same graph which will help us to compare the results provided by the models. Please remember we are running this model with the default parameter values provided by this PyBAM. Uh, open source package. We can see almost the top four are uh, same for both the model, single particle model and single particle model with electrolyte. The characteristic change is observed in negative electrolyte potential with SPM being fixed at zero voltage where a single particle model with electrolyte we can see that it drops down to minus 2.5 volts. Similarly, there is change in electrolyte potential value also. The terminal voltage follows the same pattern, but slightly the voltage range is reduced from single particle model to single particle model with electrolyte. So these characteristics gives us an overview of the battery cells to be chosen to make the module and in turn the battery package which is the source of power for various purposes including electric vehicle and also the grid demand. In subsequent videos we will see them in detail. Please subscribe to our channel.